Yes, he's goggins. The post's all done. Are you ready for the market tomorrow? Aye, I think so. I've been rushed off my feet. So, what can we expect from you this year, Pat? Flower pots. Sarah and I are going to paint them this evening. Oh, sounds lovely. Oh, and can you remind the Reverend that he needs to ring the church bells at midday tomorrow for the market to start? Of course. I'll call in on him on my way home. Come on, Jess. Bye, Pat. Sounds like the Reverend's already practising, Jess. Hello, Reverend. Hello, Pat. We just popped in to remind you to ring the bells for the market tomorrow. <laughs> but it looks like you're all set. Indeed I am, Pat. Ringing in the Midsummer Market is one of my favourite Greendale traditions. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Right you are, then. See you tomorrow. These pots look grand. Yes, I almost want to keep them myself. No, yes, stop! Yes! Yes! Looks like everyone's getting ready for the market, Jess. Meow. Hello, Ajay. Hello, Alf. Hello. Morning, Pat. Here's your post, Ajay. Thanks, Pat. Hello, Cedric. <laughs> no post for you, I'm afraid. <laughs> Everything all right, Alf? Nay, Pat. Ajay was going to take Cedric on his bike and let him fly home from Pottage Farm. So? What's gone wrong? Can't do it. I've got an important delivery for Pancaster. My last stop is Pottage Farm. Why don't I let Cedric go? Hey, would you? I'd be ever so grateful. Thanks, Pat. I'm just sorry that I couldn't do it. No problem. It'll be a pleasure. Grand. I'll be waiting for him at Thompson Ground. How's Cedric doing, Jess? <coughs> Steady on, Jess. Cedric's our guest. Try and be nice. Hello, Julia. Delivery for you. Are you all ready for the market? Yes. I've got cheese, yoghurts and creamy milk, fresh this morning. That sounds delicious, Julia. Well, we'd better be off. Bye. Bye, Pat. See you later. Just Cedric to go now, Jess. All we need to do now is find a good place to let him go. This looks like a good spot, Jess. Oh, Cedric, are you going to fly straight home, then? You are a clever bird. There you go, Cedric. Look at him go, Jess. He'll be home at Thompson Ground in no time. I wonder if racing pigeons ever get lost and go to the wrong house, Jess. to ring the bell, Reverend. Uh, oh, right. I'll go now. <coughs> What's that, 
Jess. Why, it's Cedric. What are you doing up there? I wonder if Reverend Timms knows you're there. Stop! Goodness me, pet. Whatever for? It's Cedric, Alf's racing pigeon. He's up in the bell tower. You can't ring the bells while Cedric is up there. But how will we start the market? Good question. Hey, Pat, what's going on? Cedric's not come home. Don't worry, Alf. He's all right. He's in the bell tower. But now we can't ring the bells to start the midsummer market. Oh, dear. What about food? Maybe if he's hungry, he'll come down. Nay, nay, I fed him this morning. He won't be hungry again till tomorrow. Well, we can't wait till then. What about my bird kite? Pap Cedric will follow it. Well, it's worth a go, Mira. One, two, three, go! Come on, Cedric. Follow the nice bird, eh? I don't think it's working, Mira. I'll try my ladder. Oh, OK. It's no use, I can't reach him. Oh dear, Cedric. How are we going to get you down? And how will we ever start the market without the bells? Wait a minute. I think I might have the answer. Charlie, can I have that clock? I just want to borrow it. It might get Cedric down from the bell tower. Oh, OK. Thank you. What's going on? Pat's trying to catch the pigeon. Why? So the Reverend can ring the bells. Why? Oh, so we can start the market, of course. Oh. I'll tell you what, let's catch him ourselves. Here we are. This might just do the trick. Come here, Cedric. There's a good lad. Oh, no! I'll catch him for you. Be careful, he's my little angel. There he goes, Reverend. Quick, ring the bell. Don't ring the bells, Reverend. Did you say something? You can't ring the bell. Cedric's back in the tower. Oh, dear. Perhaps I can get Cedric down with me singing. He likes that. Perhaps the Reverend can have a go. It's worth a try. Music to soothe the savage beast. The drum's not working, Reverend. Oh, well, uh, I'll try something else. Still nothing. Oh dear, what next, I wonder? Stop! Stop! 
Cedric doesn't like it. What about the piano, Reverend? Very well, Pat. But I'm a little rusty. Hmm. How about something like this? Try something a little more lively, Reverend. Lively, eh? How about this? I think it's working. Try something even faster. Even faster? Hmm. Well, if fast is what you want... It's working. Keep going. Cedric. Come here, my precious. Well done, Reverend. It seems you can even charm birds from the trees. Well, from the bell tower at least. Come on, let's ring those bells and get this midsummer market started. <laughs> Bringing the faithful to market. <laughs> Looks like the Reverend likes the bell tower almost as much as Cedric does. Jolly <laughs> good. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Mrs. Goggins. See you later. Whew. Come on, Jess. I reckon it's going to be another hot day. I'm bored. You can help me wash the Greendale rocket if you like. No, thanks. Meow. Morning, Nisha. Morning, Ajay. Hi, Pat. Can't stop, I'm afraid. Oh, dear. Someone looks fed up. Mira's bored, Pat. She says she's got nothing to do. Julian's just the same. Never mind, Mira. I've got something to cheer you up. A postcard! Uh, for me? Let's turn it. It's from Cousin Sanjay. Ah, he's at the seaside. Look at that bat. Sun, sand. Can we go to the seaside, Mum? What? You and Dad have been working hard all summer and I've got nothing to do. Let's go to the seaside. Hmm. Hmm. Problem, Ted? You could say that, Arthur. Well, that sand can't stay there, Ted. It makes the place look untidy. I know. Question is, how are we going to move it? I'm sorry, Mira. The seaside's too far to go for just one day. Oh! Never mind, Mira. I'm sure you'll find something else to do. 
Come on, Jess. Let's get back to work. Meow. Bye, Nisha. Bye, Bat. Cheerio. What's this? A sad face on a sunny day? That's not allowed. Meera wants to go to the seaside, but I've explained that it's too far. Who needs the seaside? There are lots of lovely places to visit around Greendale. How about a family picnic instead? Poor Meera. I wish there was something we could do to help. Hello, what's going on here? Problem, Ted? I bet. We're trying to move this sun. Only pack. Yeah. <laughs> You'll not move much sand like that, Arthur. What else can we do? Good idea, Jess. Hurry up, love. Coming, Ajay. Green Rabbit wanted to come on the picnic, too. <laughs> right, then. Let's go. <laughs> That's it. Fill them up. We'll have that sand shifted in no time. Well, I wouldn't be so sure about that, Pat. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe the Reverend can help us. Are we nearly there yet, Dad? Come on, Ajay. Where are we going? It's a surprise. Come on. Thanks, Reverend. You know me, Pat. Ask and ye shall receive. I say, you've forgotten the shovel. Pat! Here we are. Thompson Ground. The perfect place for a family picnic. Oh, it's lovely, Ajay. What's that noise? I can't hear anything. Nor me. It's getting louder. Hello there. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> That's the lot. Ready, Ted? Ready as I'll ever be. Careful now, Pat. I can't bear to watch. Nearly there. Oh. No. Now what? Listen. That's Dr. Gilbertson vacuuming the surgery. That's it. But she's a very clean woman, is Dr. Gilbertson. I'm sorry I gave you a fright, but I'm afraid you can't have your picnic here. Didn't you see the beehives? We're building a proper stand for them when Ted Glenn gets here with the sand. Why don't you go up to Greendale Farm instead? That's a lovely spot for a picnic. What do you think, everybody? Greendale Farm? This vacuum cleaner should do it. We'll use it to suck up all the sand and then blow it back into the truck. Good idea, Pat. Are you sure it'll work? Of course it'll work. Dr. Gilbertson says it's a bit temperamental, but it should do the job. Just watch. Hi, Dad. Hello. What are you two doing here? I'm just taking Julian round to play at Charlie's. It's boring at home. Not another one who's bored. Lucy's been driving me up the wall all day. Mira's the same. She was desperate to go to the seaside this morning. 
If only there was something they could all do together. Maybe there is, Mum. Come on. Uh, Julian! Right then, everybody. Back to work. At last. Oh, I thought we'd never make it. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but all that walking's made me more hungry. Uh, Dad? Hi. Look behind you, Ajay. And to the sides. That's right, Charlie. I'll see you there. Oh, and don't forget to bring a bucket and spade. Oh, and tell Tom and Katie as well. What's going on, Julian? I'll tell you later, Mum. Lucy, hi, it's Julian. Go, you sheep. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Go away. Dad! Don't worry, Mera. Everything's under control. Shoo, shoo. Go away, I say. <coughs> oh, bow to you too. Are you all right, Dad? Of course. I'm absolutely fine. Shoo, 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 shoo. Oh, it's no good, Ajay. I can't eat with all these sheep looking at me. We'll have to go somewhere else. It certainly seems to be doing the job, Pat. What? I said it certainly seems to be doing the job. What? He said... <coughs> Looks like we're going to have to use my helmet after all. There's no sheep. Let's just hope nothing else goes wrong, hmm? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Are you okay, Dad? If somebody could just help me with this. Dad! <coughs> the backpack! Oh dear. A picnic! Never mind, Pat. These things are sent to try us. Yes, and some of them try us more than others. Hello, what's going on here? Julian? I've brought some friends to play, Dad. Come on, everyone, dig in! <laughs> Julian! Hooray! Hooray! Yeah! I'm sorry, Mira. Our day hasn't turned out too well, has it? The picnic's ruined, I'm afraid. Is there anything you'd like to do instead, love? No, thanks, Dad. Let's just go home. <sighs> <laughs> this is loads better than being stuck indoors. It's like being at the seaside. Mira wanted to go to the seaside today. I've got an idea. Meow. Not far now, Nisha. This must be the most tiring day out ever. Listen. Oh, whatever's that? Something's happening in Greendale. Come on. They're here, everyone. The guests of honour have arrived. Oh! Hooray! Hooray! Well, 
What do you think of Greendale on Sea? It's wonderful, Pat, but this isn't all for us, is it? Why not? You wanted to go to the seaside, didn't you? Yes. Well, if the Baines can't go to the seaside, the seaside must come to the Baines. And Dorothy and I have decided the children can keep the sand. So I'm going to build them a proper sand pit. So we'll never be bored again. Oh, look out! Watch out! That's me, Elmy. <coughs> Come on! Thanks, Pat. This is the best day out ever. Hooray! Hooray! Hello, Ajay. Is something wrong? Aye, Pat. The rocket's going nowhere today. Why not, Ajay? The starting lever's broken. I should have checked it. And now I've got to wait until tomorrow for the new one to be delivered. Oh, dear. Hello, Pat. Morning, Ajay. Meow. I've got a special little passenger for you. Meet Cedric. <laughs> He's a racing pigeon. Meow. He can find his way home from anywhere. If he's such a great flyer, why does he need to ride on the train? Well, he's got to go to the vet in Pencaster for a health check before his next race. Sorry, Alf. I can't take Cedric anywhere today. The Greendale rocket's out of action. Oh, dear. If he isn't checked, he can't race. And I can't take him over all those hills to Pencaster. Not in my old tractor. I've got an idea. I'll have to take my parcels to Pencaster anyway, so why don't I take Cedric with me? Eee, that's champion. <laughs> Look, Cedric is ready to go. Look after him, Pat. Don't worry, Alf. I will. See you later. <coughs> See you, Cedric. What's up, Arthur? Sorry, Pat. This road's under repair just before the bridge. Oh, no. I'm going to Pencaster that way. You can turn left and go over the hills to Pencaster. It's quite a drive, though. Well, the sooner I start, the sooner I'll get back. Bye, Arthur. Bye, Pat. Look at those beautiful hills. I bet there's not another car around for miles. Oh, it's so peaceful. Hmm. Oh, no! Oh, no. We've run out of petrol. Don't worry, Jess. All we have to do is wait for someone to come along and give us a hand. I know, Jess. We have been waiting a long time. It looks like we might be stuck up here all night. Two first-class stamps, please, Mrs Goggins. Is Pat back from Pancaster yet? No sign of him at all, Adji. He should be here by now. Any sign of my pigeon, Mrs Goggins? I thought Pat would have had him home by now. He, it's nearly time for his tea. Your Cedric might miss his tea and his supper and all, Alf. I've had to send Pat the hilly way to Pencaster. Oh, dear. My old dad used to call that route the mazy way. You can get lost for days up there. Oh, no. If I'd checked the starting lever on my engine, Pat would never have had to go. Oh, don't worry, Adji. Pat's probably enjoying a lovely drive. Well, it doesn't look as if anyone is going to come by, Jess. Meow. Looks like we're going to be here for the night after all. Meow. Still, it's a warm evening. 
We can sleep out under the stars. The main problem is... <laughs> what are we going to eat for our supper? <laughs> oh, yes, and Cedric, too. Looks like we're in a right pickle. Any sign of Dad yet, Mum? I want to play Captain Zap with him. No. I wonder what's happened to him. He's never been this late before. Hello? Hello, Sarah. It's Ajay. I'm afraid it looks like Pat's broken down somewhere. Mrs Goggin just called the Pencaster Depot and Pat didn't show up there at all today. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Don't worry. Alf, PC Selby and I are all going out now to look for him. Oh, dear. A search party? You'll call me as soon as you find him, won't you, Edgy? Don't worry. We will. Bye, Sarah. Bye. There you are, Cedric. All I've found for us is this old biscuit. Have a nibble, Jess. Hmm, not much of a meal. If only I had my fishing rod and some bait. Here, wait a minute. I might be able to make a fishing rod. Ah, there we are. I could use one of these bendy branches as a rod. Some twine from my post bags for the line. And the paper clip for a hook. Come on, Jess. We're going fishing. Caught a catfish already. Until Dad gets back. No, love. You go off to bed. Don't worry. Dad'll be home soon. I hope. was delicious. Meow. Now then, let's try and get some sleep, eh, Jess? Night night. <laughs> what was that? Meow. Oh, silly me. It's only an owl. Night night again, Jess. Meow. <laughs> oh yes, and night night to you too, Cedric. No sign of Pat Alf. Not a sausage. I've been up and down these lanes. Look! There's a light over there. Maybe it's Pat signalling to us. Evening all. Any luck? Oh, it's you, Arthur. We're supposed to be finding Pat, not each other. That's the trouble with the mazy way. These lanes will have you going round in circles. We'll all end up lost if we're not careful. When that moon goes down, it'll be pitch black out here. It might be best to call off the surge till morning. I'm afraid you're right. <sighs> Wake up, Jess. It's morning. I haven't got much breakfast for us, Cedric. 
It's a shame you can't fly back home. Here, wait a minute. That's the answer. It was under my nose all the time. Cedric can rescue us. Now, I'm going to draw a quick picture of where we are. And I'll add a little note. Then fold it up very small. Don't you remember, Jess? Alf said Cedric can always find his way home. Now then, a rubber band. Come on, lad. That's it. So, when Cedric arrives home with this message on him, Alf will read it and know exactly where we are. Off you go, Cedric. Straight home. Good luck. Oh, dear. Poor Pat out in the wilds all night. And Cedric, too. Cedric, is that you? It is you. You found your way home. Hey, up. What's this? It's from Pat. S.O.S. I've run out of petrol. Here's a picture of where I am. Come on, Cedric. Let's go and rescue Pat. Ajay, uh, it's Alf. I know where to find Pat. Thank goodness. Can you race up there on your motorbike and take him some petrol? No problem. Good. Now listen carefully. I'll give you directions. I wonder where Cedric is now. Meow. Listen, Jess. That sounds like... Ajay! Pat! Thank goodness I found you. Are you all right? Fine, Ajay. Am I pleased to see you? Everyone's been looking for you. We got your message. Here's some petrol. Thanks, Ajay. If only the Green Deer rocket had been ready yesterday. I feel like this is all my fault. Nonsense, Ajay. It was my idea to drive over to Pencaster. And we've had a fine old time getting back to nature, haven't we, Jess? Meow. Now you can come straight back to Greendale and tell us all about your adventure. OK, but first I'd better get home to Sarah and Julian. But what about the post? Don't you worry about that. I'll fix up the Greendale rocket this morning and deliver the post to Pencaster later. Thanks, Ajay. Home at last. Dad, oh, you're back. back! You're back! Hello, love. Hi, Julian. Sorry I missed dinner, but I am in time for breakfast, I hope. Oh, Pat. Was it awful? Well, it wasn't so bad. We had a campfire <laughs> and a fish barbecue and slept out under the stars, didn't we, Jess? Meow. Really? Dad, if you ever get stuck out in the wilds again... Yes? Can I come with you? It sounds brilliant! Can you guess what's in his bag? Is there a letter?